wishing you a very happy Hanuman day and even a Hanuman and homeopathic year. Hello everyone. This is a little lecture I have created for Hanuman's Day 2024. It's of course about Hanuman's way on this very beautiful day. And yes, it is about 235 years after the first experiment that Hanuman did with King Hona. This is 1790. This has been very nicely described and researched by Peter Morell in an article Hanuman's first provings that you can find on the website of homoyoint.org. In that uh, experiment it is described how Hanuman created the idea of proving and the proving itself. And the one thing we cannot repeat often enough is that this remedy, which is now called China officinalis, is still being prescribed today. I prescribed it last week, maybe you too. So this is a fantastic idea that a medication, a remedy, that has been created 235 years ago is still being used in medicine. And when we speak in general terms, that is really like a fantastic perception. But even more, the old indications that Hahnemann described in his famous publication 235 years more or less ago, they are still valid. For example, you read the symptom fermentation in the abdomen from eating fruit. Hahnemann gives the example of cherries. Well, that is still an indication for China, still today. Hmm? So people are eating healthy and they eat fruit, etc. But this one person comes to you and says, when I eat fruit, I cannot eat fruit because my whole stomach, my abdomen start to bloat up. Well, this indication is still the same. So again, fantastic. So we had cases in the past, Hanuman had cases, I have cases, so many people have cases all over the world that we can wonder how many cases are there confirming the usefulness and the power of the remedy China officinalis. I'm sure we are not speaking about tens, hundreds or thousands of cases, but tens of thousands of cases. And of course, most of those cases disappear with the homeopaths in an attic, in a cellar or in the bin. And this is why we have created the project of Clifical. You can just uh, click here on the link and go and look at this clinical file collection in the cloud where the idea is to collect cases to improve and increase the visibility and the reliability of homeopathic information. Just a little sidetrack. Now, of course, there is the old information, let's say the Hahnemann information, which is basically the more or less 95 proofings, and there is the new information. So I say more or less 95 proofings because Peter Morell again has recently published a very nice book, Hahnemann's Homeopathy, it is called, where he describes the different provings that have been made and have been published and then not repeated, etc. So there is in the different books, the chronic diseases, the Materia Medica Pura and the Fragmenta, there are provings that are not repeated. So it takes some research really to find out all the provings that Hahnemann did. Some of them are not being used today. And we can find all that information in this book uh, uh, you can get from the BJ and Friends in India, Hanuman and Homeopathy by Peter Morell. I truly recommend it. Now today we are far away from the 95 provings. We have thousands of remedies that have been proved. And so of course in Adonis there is this, all this information is available, the old information, the more recent and the very recent information, even with the recent update to Synthesis Adonis. And today I would nevertheless like to emphasize, honoring Hahnemann, the, our effort to allow you to work with the old information, the traditional information as well. And one example of that effort are the repertory views. 
you can view the repertory Adonis eh, with more or less information according to your desire this is called the repertory view eh? we can limit Adonis to the information of Hanuman eh? which means we put the date of 1843 which means all that has been published until 1843 and you can like work with the information that was available to Hanuman and the colleagues at his time mm. or we have what is called the quantum view the conservative view which is the expanded traditional sources because since Hanuman many people even up today have been adhering quite strictly to the original ideas like how to make a proving how to apply the remedy to the patient etc so these traditional sources even contemporary may exist and of course this will be reflected that when you select the quantum repertory view in Adonis you will see only the more traditional remedies but they will also contain references from more contemporary sources so traditional authors who have added to the knowledge base that was started by Hanuman will be included in the quantum view I would also like to highlight a few new things that are, which we can say, eh, which can name the traditional repertory views. And you must know that uh, today Synthesis Adonis refers to about 4,200 sources, different bibliographical sources. So that's really a lot. And fortunately, a few people have gone through the whole list to highlight and indicate the traditional sources that are valid if you would like to have a traditional Hanumanian approach. April 10 is the day to speak about it. The first one I would like to mention is Chado Gallic, a very well-known homeopath from Germany, who has created a repertory view which he called the reliable sources. I think the name speaks for itself. Second, I would like to uh, mention Erik van Wunsel, my Belgian Dutch friend who lives in Spain by now and who has co-authored with George Vitulkas the book Levels of Health. Also he has gone through the whole lot and suggested which sources to use, not to use, to have traditional information in synthesis Adonis. And at last there is Venice Siddhartan, better known as Dr. Venice from India Kerala, a young and very interesting uh, homeopath who has been trained at the Alonidosos Academy, also in the Hanumanian College of Homeopathy in London, who is very active in teaching and who has also given us the favor to run through all these lists of sources. If on Hanuman Day or on any other day you would like to uh, use just the traditional information, well, the good news is with the help of these people, with the help of our project, you can do it. Thank you very much and wishing you a very happy Hanuman day and even a Hanuman and homeopathic year. Bye bye.